Hey YouTube and welcome back to It's Amazing. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Caitlin. How are you? Use the subscribe, like you see the red button, make it great and subscribe to my channel and join the family. And if you wanna see more of this beautiful chocolate face, do not forget to follow my social media accounts to be in the description box below link just click it and follow me on instagram if you read the title you already know what to go down i am about to create a ponytail for a photo shoot i'm doing i'm actually like in the middle of vlogging and photo shooting so that's gonna be crazy but yeah like you know what i'm gonna do you're here let's just get right into this video okay so i'm going to be starting with getting my water bottle and this i got this water bottle from amazon and i love this water bottle because it works so well and it really gets my hair very wet. And as you can see, like I am putting a lot of water on my hair for this style. I used to think not using a lot of water would just not make the hair as sleek, but it actually makes it more sleek when I do my puffs and things. So I am just putting a lot of water on my hair, as you can see, so that I can start on a good wet foundation. Now I'm going to go in with the Natural Nourishing Avocado Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm using this because I think I already had this in my hair. So like no need to use another product. When I already used that one, I don't want to mix it. You know, it's probably going to make it flake. So I use that. And if you want to know my thoughts on that product, I will have the video linked below. And in the fluffy, fluffy. <laughs> and in the floaty uppy thingy. So yeah, I'm just moisturizing my hair just to make sure, you know, it doesn't snap off in the braid or anything. Next, I'm going in with my favorite gel. Like, I love this gel so much. Not only is it only like $4, like it works so well. So I'm just gonna get globs of that and I'm going to put that all around my hair, focusing it mainly on the perimeter of my hair. And yeah, I'm just gonna go all the way around with it and yeah, get it all nice and <laughs> gelled up. And did y'all think I was finished? No, I'm going in with even more gel because like I want this style to be as sleek as possible and I'm not stretching my hair, so yeah. Next, I'm gonna go in with my detangler brush and this has like longer teeth on it. So I like to use that just to brush the hair into my, brush the hair, brush the gel into my hair just so I can get, you know, the style even more sleek. And yeah, this really just works the product in for me. Now, after that, I'm going in with a bristle brush. And I got this brush from Walmart. And it works so well, but it is kind of like hard. So I wouldn't advise doing this style or like sleeking my hair, your hair with a brush like this a lot. Because it is very hard. But I used it for this style because it's a perfect so I can, you know, get my slick back looks. So I can be like Pinhead Larry. So yeah, I'm just brushing all around the perimeter of my hair right with the gel. And then I'm gonna go in with my string and this is gonna make my ponytail or puff, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just going to wrap the string around my hair. And I'm going to tighten it on my forehead as you can see. But for this ponytail, I'm going to focus on pulling the back of the string up on my hair so the ponytail can be more so at the top of my head, not the back. So yeah, when you're doing this, if you want your hair ponytail higher, make sure to put the string, like push the string up at the back so it can be as high as possible. And once you get it to the desired height, just pull the string close and make it as tight as possible for your ponytail. Okay, so now that all of that is done, my ponytail is up, I'm going to get the hair. And I don't even know like what hair this is, I just know that it was in my room and I used it. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning my hair in three, like for the braid or plait, whatever you wanna call it. And yeah, I'm sectioning my hair off into three sections because you know, you need three sections for a plait. And it's really hard because my hair was, she was old, but I got through it. <laughs> And then I'm gonna take the hair, and it looks like this because I did this twice, but this is the correct way, so I'm doing it this way now. 
but I didn't record the other way too. It's a lot, but yeah. Just know I sectioned my hair off first, then I slapped the other hair on and I wrapped it around like, you know, like you just saw me do right there. And then I just started to plait down. And I'm gonna turn around and show you what I'm doing and how I add the hair in. And this is how I add more hair in my ponytail. I just get another piece of hair and I add it to the middle and the left or the middle and the right. And I just combine it that way and continue plaiting like I hoped. That was a good enough explanation if it's not i'm sorry but yeah that's basically what i did when i tried to add in hair i get in between the three sections and i get the middle section and either the piece to the right or to the left and i just add the hair in that way and i just continue plaiting down just to make you know the hair join together and everything like that <laughs> so yeah that's all i'm doing now i'm just plaiting going straight down and yeah and this is my first time doing this so do not judge my plait Okay. <laughs> so yeah, then after I get that situated, I'm just just keep on adding hair, keep on, you know, braiding down and get to the length that you want for your ponytail. And I might redo this style because like I really didn't record it. This is my first time, so I was just recording it just for, you know, footage sake. But yeah, I just record all the way to the bottom and I go to the very end because I wanted my hair braided all the way down there. <laughs> Once you get to the ends, if like the ends aren't as tapered as you like it so you can make like a very clean braid, you can just brush it like I'm doing here and just continue plaiting down. Alright, so that is my braid. <laughs> That's how she's looking right now and I showed you guys, you know, like an upside down version. And I should have added more hair. My hair is like thicker up there then it gets a little bit thinner. But to fix that, I just grabbed a bobby pin and I just pinned it in areas that I felt like, you know, my hair was too thick and the other hair was too thin, you know? just to try to mesh the two together as best they could for the sake of the picture that I was gonna do. Next, I'm going in with the Natural All Black Flax Seed Edge Control. And I put that on my hair because it's black and I wanted my hair to be shiny for the pictures. So I'm just doing that, working that into my hair and you know, slicking my hair back some more because it did puff up a little bit as I was braiding my hair because my hair is natural and that is what she likes to do. So now we're gonna go to the edges and to mold my edges, I use the Chi Chi Glamour Edge Control. But before that, I use the Extreme Wet Line to like carve them out. But with the Chi Chi Glamour Edge Control, I molded them. Like, does that make sense? That's what I do. And I'm just swooping my edges, sleeking them up. You already know the drill, like, edges on fleek all 2020. Now I'm gonna go in with my scarf and I feel like everyone needs this scarf when they're doing sleek styles. So yeah, I'm just gonna wrap that on my hair and I will see you guys when it is dry. I'm gonna take off my scarf and reveal what is underneath. Hopefully it's flat, hopefully it did me right. And hopefully it participated with what I'm trying to do today. So yeah. I mean, it looks cool. All right, so this is like how my hair is looking. This is my end result. Like, I liked it. It was cute to me. I liked the ponytail. I felt, you know, it felt real cute. And so, yeah, this is the hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Comment, like, and subscribe. And, yeah, if you want to see more of my beautiful chocolate face, follow me on my social media accounts. We'll be listed up above and in the description box below. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.